you have a first look at the new map. So this is why the new maps for the tournament only. Is it shown on screen? Yeah, okay. So you've got two blue fields here. And then you have three spikes. It's a red alert two map. There's a bunker here. Bunkers here and bunkers here. We're going to put gates here, but I couldn't bother. It's going to be left bees right to make it fair. Because it can't be bottom bees bottom. It has to be uh, top left. Four new maps. There's four new maps. You'll see them today. I'm teaching both of them today, it seems. There's four new maps. There's three red alert two maps and one by, I think, Tiberium Sunlet. So this is like a remake of like Pipeline, kind of, I guess. But better, I would say. Who made them? Uh, Desto. Desto made them. Des Desolator? Des Desto? I forgot his name now. Come on. But I, I paid the map editors on Kane Draft, so... Whoever makes maps for the tournament gets paid for it, so... Yeah. It helps them out as well, you know. Gives them something as well. So there you go. That's kind of the build I would say is best here. You could either go War Factory or Refinery, it doesn't matter. And then your second expansion's here. But the free spikes are the big deal here, you don't want to lose them. Scrin would be pretty good here with Gross Sims on here. And you harvest this pretty quickly as well because the way the map is. There we go. Uh, not tonight because you got him tomorrow. It's not. It's not on tonight. It's on tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, he's my co-caster. Yeah, yeah, just showing what the map's going to be like. Oh, he didn't do the build good enough. <laughs> it, it, I wouldn't fish into this, mate. I would not fish into this. These bunkers are crafty, man. You gotta watch out for the bunkers. Yeah, you gotta kill him, you gotta kill him. He's realizing you gotta kill these quickly. You can use the bunkers for your advantage here. He needs that, uh, he needs grenadiers. Hey, baby! You're brushing the teeth on the game. Woohoo, that's cold! Yeah, it is cold. <laughs> yeah, it is cold. Okay, what are you doing? He just needs grenadiers here. Alright, now we got this. One more expansion filled up here. He's getting done over by the rockets. He's gonna learn to be careful next time. There's no, two more fields up here as well. Oh, he's got nades now. Oh, he got leveled up straight away. Oh. Run, 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 run. You can also do this, so you can stealth it up like this. That's a great way to defend as well. And you can put a tower here as well. That makes it kind of harder for him to come in here. Oh, 
<laughs> got that pit bull. Oh, that's a big bomb. You gotta be careful when you go in here. Put these back in here. And that is what we call a defense. The map's got it. Gotta be Gary. You can't just spam units. You gotta be really smart about how you play this out. You're just spamming. You can't just spam. Go on then, go wee wee. Going there now. On that. There's no way he can push it in here. Probably sell this crane. We've still got a lot of money here because we only got like three harvesters down here. Just realized that was my bad. Bum! Oh. Yeah. Mine drop. Mine drop. Oh. <laughs> a big mind drop. Oh, I just did a really big mind drop. Grenadiers are coming in. I want to take out those grenadiers. Be done, baby. Do those. Still bold? Nah, I'm not that bold anymore. Oh, it's time to go. GG. And that is one of the maps. It's uh, pretty good for Nod, I would say. Building. Uh, one of the other maps as well. We've got blue tips there. Yeah. Yeah. Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. And you see this? This blocks it, so he can't. Oh. Construction complete. New construction options. Training. Yeah, it's a red alert free map. Yeah, yeah, it's tournament B. It's tournament A and tournament B. You can't snipe the engineer, by the way. There's a weird, so I don't want poker in the game. So obviously this is here. So you can, the only way you can snipe it is go across here, but you just won't get there in time. And power plant cell doesn't work either. Yeah. yeah. Construction complete. New construction options. Building. Building capture. So you got expansion here, you got two blue fields in the middle and one here. So it's very chaotic. So the idea behind the maps has kind of changed the meta a little bit. It's playing the game, so I might have to mute my mic. Um it's so GDI meta is kind of toxic at the moment with the Marv. So the idea behind the maps were to stop the Marv meta. A lot of the time, a lot of people just pick GDI, APC Rocket. And I felt like these maps will stop it. Because the mob eating your field here is not going to be a thing, really. Like, where are you going to eat? Maybe this? If you win this? 
but not really, right? I love that map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The maps, I, I like the maps. One spike only as well. And obviously, if you can kill it, it's not in a safe position, but you can take it easily. Construction complete. Cannot and then your expansion's right here, so you don't actually have to move your MCV as well. So you can either go tag or you can grab all the middle with the... You can grab... So he's going to base push, so... It's actually pretty hard to decide what to do here. Because you have to give up your economy or go tag here. In a way. Oh, God. You can either forfeit in the middle or go economy. Warship would be pretty good here, I think. Training. I think Warship. I think Scrin is probably best on this map, probably, I'm thinking. Just the way the map works. I could be wrong, though. They got that spike. Insufficient oh, that grab you green? Oh, dude. No way. Okay, one hammer hit. Sell this. Go on So as you see, you don't actually get that much money, so you have to be careful. Take it, baby. Yeah, they're gonna give to sub, man. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Like your your field dries out very quickly, as you're seeing here. So yeah, you actually have to be very careful what you build here. Oh, I built that storm and he's not actually going with it. Oh. Building. Insufficient funds. Oh, you being serious? Oh, I didn't work. That bugged out. That's annoying. Oh, that's literally one HP. Run. <laughs> it's one HP. Run, run, run. <coughs> Alright, boys. Time to grab all that blue Tiberium. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I'm 
<laughs> there we go. Grab this time ahead. There we go. that should do it. So it's a very hard map. You don't actually have that much resources, as you can see. But that should be it, really. So we add a little bit here. We add a blue field here with a bridge, and then we have a bridge here with two spikes, and we have this as a cutoff. And you got to repair this. So it's adding a lot of verity to the game, I think. So he can't snipe because this blocks it. So we put a block there. In Red Let Two, you can snipe, remember. But I thought in Kane Draft, losing an engineer is a much bigger deal than losing an engineer in Red Let Two. I I'm liking the new maps. Like I think it just adds a little bit more brain power to it. And we added blue tip to a lot of the uh, maps because I kind of want the game to go faster as well. So you actually need three engineers here, by the way, because you need to repair that bridge. So you need three engineers. To repair the bridge and get over there and grab that other spike. I don't know where you're going. Get over there. And then... Oh, you gotta kind of hit this sometimes. It bugs out a little bit, isn't it? Gotta tell people about that. That little barrier there kind of bugs out, I think. Kind of annoying to deal with. Construction complete. Low power. New construction options. Building captured. Building. Now, there's a reason I went screen because I want to test something in a minute with screen on this map. Construction complete. He hasn't grabbed these spikes yet. Good for me. Building. Construction complete. And then the other map's a big map, and it's like a there's a, like a little trick to it on the other map as well. Oh, are you new? Oh, yeah. Construction complete. New construction option. Okay. <laughs> this is what I want to try. I want to see what Squid could do here with that. <laughs> just, I just want to see this. <laughs> you can hide your tack over here, you know. You can just put your tack on the corner of the map with Squid. Do you hide your drone ship back there as well? No need to repair the bridge either. Put that there. Put that down. Get a refinery out. So now our tech is completely secure. You could do the same for GDI to be fair. You could put your tech up there, at, back up the map. So you can put your tech like this now. That's completely safe. Uh, two war factory, you have to watch out for that. Construction complete. 
And then we got this here, two spikes here. Remember, he can't just snipe our spikes, he has to come through this little chokehold here. Shouldn't be able to push that. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, everything's fine, nice push. Remember, resources are kind of tight on this map. Yet again, the, the resources on these maps are pretty tight. You have to be very careful not to overspend. Even though you get a blue field at the start, like, you still don't get that much money at the start of the game. Like, you do, at the, sorry, you get a, a load at the start and that's it, really. And you're too spiked. The best thing with GDI here would be to take these spikes of engineers, though, I reckon. Like, you could airdrop this back spike. But yeah, great build would be strong here, yeah, yeah, exactly. He doesn't know about the blue field, does he? Oh, no way. I think Epics would be pretty good here as well. I think Hexapod would be clutch here. Because there's just not a lot of money. But I think Epics, getting a hero Epic would be kind of clutch. Taking out these spikes is probably the best, biggest deal I think on this map, if I'm honest. Oh no. He knew what I was... He hasn't took both spikes. Oh no, he has, yeah. Thanks for the follow, brother. Cannot deploy here. New construction options. Training. Structure sold. Construction. And thanks for the raid. Pretty hard map, actually. Training. Good night, good night. I think he's looking for my tech. He can't find it at the moment. I'm a bitch. Oh. Not paying attention. Yeah, again, the money from the hexapod would be pretty sweet, I think. Training. Has he taken this back stuff yet? Because if he hasn't, I have an idea. Okay, we just leave this one harvester here. Has he got EMP coming out already? Nice. Yeah, thank you for the sub, brother. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. That's a big army, I'm not gonna lie. That map's kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie. The map is actually really hard, you do gotta be really careful.
Construction complete. Probably don't need that then. <laughs> it's close. It's close, lads. Oh shit. Oh god, no, wait, no way. Game, Alright, this map is actually a simple map. It's a standard map. This is the most normal map in the map pool for the new maps. This is actually anyone can play. There's nothing to really. I think there's three spikes. The middle we're here is two, there's three fields. So you're fighting for that middle. Yet again, uh, it's like, I think a good screen nod map. With, I mean, it's good for any faction, I think, if I'm honest. I think it's good because Dragonauts and all of that, Marv. Try to balance it a little bit around the factions and not give too many factions a huge advantage. But yet again, you got this massive expansion uh, here. This is your expansion point. Plus, you have three spikes at home. Kind of makes the game go a bit quicker with the economy. So, two maps have three spikes. And then you have your uh, EMP tower here, EMP tower here. Oh, I didn't click it, you son of a bitch. Thanks for the follow, brother. Appreciate that. Oh, he knows I'm coming for him. You grab this, so you get to see the expansion up here. There you go. <laughs> I'm coming. No, I don't want the chat staying forever, do I? I want it to disappear over time, you muppet. No? Wasn't that the idea? Do I want it to stay forever? Oh, there we go. But no, I think they're good maps. I don't know what anyone else thinks, but I think they're good maps. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> I'm the fucking host of the tournament, so... <laughs> As long as I like them, it don't really matter. <laughs> right, going APCs, classic. Classic APC build. Yet again, the maps are pretty big, like. 
This map's pretty big. I don't think it's going to work very well for him. Building. Yet again, the idea behind the maps was to kind of stop the GDI heavy meta of Marv. But I don't know about this map. I didn't test it too much with the Marv, so I don't know if it will work or not. But yet again, it's not to stop it folly, it's just to slow it down, per se. But yet again, he can't eat this field, right? And you have three spikes to fall back on. Oh, he's just going in. That's a terrible build for him. No, I don't think so. I don't think GDI units are that slow anymore, actually. The way the meta works, I actually think GDI is perfectly fine on every map now. Like, APCs are not slow. They're so fucking fast. And what the build is, meta is nowadays, there's many APCs in the Dragonauts, so... I think it's absolutely fine now. Driving someone out Blue Tiberium would be nice. There we go. Let's have a... Oh, I'll put these on our field as well. Grab some of that blue Tiberium. Oh, I sent two harvesters. A mistake, but maybe an okay mistake. Looks like it's going to work out. Transfer this harvester over here. Nope, too many harvesters. Too many harvesters. Move, 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 move. <laughs> Move, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Looks like GDI is fine with, with how he's playing this, no? Looks like GDI is perfectly fine. Testing the new map. No, I haven't really tested them. I, I, I'm okay with the new maps. I'll take out this uh, Tiberium here. Or put the storm down. Okay, they will do that. I don't think this is going to work for him. I think I'm fine ish. Tough one, I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot to deal with. Hmm. Gonna kill that harvester, that's fine, is what it is. Okay, as you can see, the map's very action packed. Non stop fighting. I forgot shields. Oh, that's bad for me though. He's expanded here. He's got a mob, you see? Ah, oh, shit. We took the blue Tiberium. Did forget shields though, so that's not good for me. With MCVs here? Fuck. Oh god. What the fuck? Ah, forgetting shields is probably gonna kill me here. I can't fight him. Uh, I can't fight him. 
So getting shields was too big of a deal. He's gonna eat that field on the left. It's just for getting the shields, it's too big of a deal. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Get him! The, the engineers! The engineers! Clutch. <laughs> That's like that. And they're a big deal. They stop a lot of damage. We got very lucky there. Holy crap. The engineers are clutch there, holy shit. Holy shit, GG. Woo! It makes for interesting game, to tell ya. Shout out to all the patrons, thank you so much for the support and making it possible to make so many videos daily. Without you, it would be really hard, so thank you so much. And if you do want to check out the Patreon and support the channel, you can. There are rewards like early access to most videos, that you can watch ad free and then there are exclusive videos that i post on patreon so things that i've never seen games against like mass leaf we draw my drive kind of like that just some cool 1v1s 3v3s when i can and there's other perks you can check out link is in the description but thank you so much and see you next time